Hi, I'm Colton, and welcome to Chapter 5 of the After Effects 101 tutorial from GetGoingTraining.com. In this lesson, we are going to look about using the text tool in After Effects, as long with bringing in some text samples from Photoshop and Illustrator and showing you how you can animate them and do some really cool stuff in After Effects with them. So first, make sure that you have the Source Materials folder downloaded from the Get Going website. And once you have that downloaded, we can fire up After Effects and get going on this. The After Effects fired up here, and this is the default layout when you open up After Effects in CS6. So the first thing you want to do when you're in After Effects is to go up to the Composition, New Composition, and set like the canvas settings or the size of your picture that you're working with. If you're adding this into another video project, you want to make sure that the aspect ratio and the number of pixels are the same. So for this project, I'm just going to call it text tutorial and I'm just going to keep it at 1920 by 1080 which is full HD at 29.97 seconds the duration is 30 seconds and the background color is black. I'm going to keep all that the same so okay we got the canvas all set up here and now we can go right in to just working with text and After Effects. And you do that the same way you'd want to make a new layer or a new shape, is you go right up to the layer, go to New, and then go to Text, the first option. And it immediately gives you the cursor, and you can immediately start typing. So I'm going to type for this example, in all caps, TEXT. And when I'm done, I just go up and hit, hit the Selection tool. I'm done. Uh, see, I have my cap locks on now, and it's telling me to take the cap locks off to refresh it. Very important. If you ever get this message, it means your cap locks button is on. So there you go. The text is back, and you can take it, and you can move it around, change the position. As you can see, the position coordinates right here in this box, the info box, change when you move this around. So I'm just going to try to you know, stick it someplace in the middle for this example. So now once you've typed out your text here and you have the character palette with all these different settings that you can tweak right off the bat, like the size of the text, just by clicking on the numbers and moving your mouse left to right, you can change the size of the text very quickly and efficiently. You can do that on you know a lot of these different settings like changing the vertical scale of the text. You can just grab and just adjust it. Or you can click right on the numbers and enter a value, like 100. I don't want any stretching, so I'm just keeping it at 100. As you can see, there's 100 there, too. So it's important to note that when you created this text, that it shows up here on the timeline like any other layer. So you just have the white text. It didn't create the black background. If you hit this button here, Toggle Transparency Grid, as you can see the black disappears. It, I'm showing this to you because it just you just created the text. There's nothing behind it. The black is just there so you can see what you're working with. So I just keep this button off so I can see the text that I'm working with. So most of the time you're going to spend animating text is text is going to be in this region down here by the timeline and you go hit the little carrot here it gives you these options you have a, a text option with another carrot and a transform option and it's very important to know the differences between these two options because they will both give you different results depending on what you're animating I'll start with the very basics. If you just want to do some basic text, like you, let's say we want to move the text across the screen from left to right. Animating the transform section is very good when you're just doing simple stuff like that. It gives you all these options here like you have been told in previous lessons about animating layers and, and objects. It works the same way with text. If you go down here to where the uh, values are, say on scale, you can adjust the scale just like you could in the other character tab over there. 
except that there's one key difference. You're animating the scale of the whole layer that's on the composition as opposed to just animating the size of the text. Even though it might look you're having the same effect, you need to know the difference between animating this entire layer which the text lives on as opposed to just the text itself. You need to, just need to know the differences between the character menu and the transform options because when you get into more complicated stuff with text it will show you different results. But for what we're doing today we can animate in the transform section to begin with. So let's say we want to animate this from left to right what we would do is we would animate the position of the layer. As you can see, with the X, it's always X and Y coordinates. X and Y coordinates. So when you take, put your mouse on the X coordinate and move it left to right, it moves the text left to right and changes the X value. When you put it on the Y coordinate, it moves it up and down on the Y axis. So if we wanted to animate this thing in left to right, like I mentioned before, we would go and hit the little stopwatch like we would animate any other object in uh, After Effects. We'd animate it. It created a keyframe right at 0, 0, right at the beginning. That's good. And with, without moving the head of the timeline, we will take the, the text on the X value and we will move it all the way to the left. And to move things quicker, hold down the shift key and drag and you can move it farther and faster. So let's have it right here off the screen to begin with. And let's say five seconds in we want it we want it to go all the way across the screen. Actually let's make that ten seconds. So let's move our playhead all the way to ten seconds. As you can see it says ten seconds there on the time code then this hasn't moved so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold the shift key hold this down again and we're gonna move it all the way to the other end and it created another keyframe and it also made a line of animation so when you move the playhead back and scrub through the timeline you can see the text does move from left to right like we wanted it to do if we hit, if we hit the space bar and hit play, it plays it and shows us the animation. Now it might not always be in real time depending on your processing speed, but it clearly shows you what it's doing from left to right. Let's take that playhead back and show it again. Very simple, two keyframes, and a lot of the basic text animations we can do just from animating here in the transform tab.